Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Grizz. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I feel like it's probably a, you know, a word in a, in a language that's meant to be pronounced differently. So maybe at some point I'll have to sit down and look it up. But I'm going to go ahead and jump back into this game. Uh, my name is GSC and I'm here on the Core Gaming channel. So thank you very much for coming back. On the last episode, we discovered red. As you can see, I guess red is a very important color. Um, I'm kind of curious if maybe we're going to discover more colors along the way. Maybe that's how it works, is discovering how to bring color back to this world. Or her world. Whoever she is. I'm not trying to assume gender, but she looks female. Oh. I don't know what L does other than it looks like it, she takes a deep breath right now. Weird. Stars? Hmm. I mean, so far this game is very beautiful. It, it just has so much, I feel like, almost raw depth. Dude, what's that even supposed to mean? I think the only part I don't particularly like then I kind of do at the same time is it's just how little hand holding there is in the game. I mean, traditionally, we're so used to being inundated with just. I don't know. So much. Look at that. A turtle with five. Okay. Um, we're so used to being inundated with just instruction, right? Like, you don't even have to think for yourself anymore. You just follow, like, an arrow. But there's definitely no arrow for this game. You just kind of have to hope you are doing the right things in some particular way, maybe. It's quite beautiful. Hmm. I guess I don't know that I want to progress too much to the right. I haven't gone up yet, so I think I'll do that first. But, problem is, without stars, can you really progress upward? It doesn't look like it. Mm. Oi, and that prevents me from going backwards. Okay. Well, that is distinctive. Um, not going to give me a whole lot of options, is it? So I guess there is that in a way. There's guiding hands to show you, obviously, you know, there are some ways you can and can't go. But it, it gives you no real hand-holding. I've gotten no instruction about buttons, anything. Oh. It's so gorgeous. That is just so gorgeous. I don't know. <laughs> this game, they, whoever designed it, super 
well thought out scenes. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird, weird that that big sun orb is following me right now, but overall I'm just very impressed by the artistry of whoever designed this. Um, it's just so gorgeous sometimes, it's breathtaking. I can't remember the last time I played a game like this that just overwhelmed. Okay, it completely took over the controls. I'm not controlling it. So it's like another cutscene. Is that its way of saying, like, by the way, you've just been playing the tutorial? Um, because that's, that's, that's interesting. Um, oh, goodness, was I supposed to jump? That's really cool how she lands. Is there anything this way? Oh, hello. I'm guessing that's a save point. And three dots. I don't know if that's to say that I've captured three dots overall or if maybe I'm missing three dots. Whatever those are. Stars, notes. Can I jump on that? No? Okay. Worth the shot. You never know exactly what you can jump on. You can kind of assume, but it's it's not always super clear. Like, why is the top of this tree so flat? I find that interesting. But I can't go back now, right? Yep. Okay. weird wind chime antennas. Oh. That's so crazy when that happens. Like, I don't even know what to do. goodness like it's so powerful it just knocks me on my ass and like she barely holds on <gasps> more little rock people I love it uh oh what do I do here crazy. I love it, but it's so crazy. Just like you just start getting slammed um, with wind and there's just nothing you can really do about it. Oh, here it comes. Goodness. So intense, the music really just amplifies the experience. It feels impactful. Oh my goodness, it's gonna hit me again, isn't it? Oh! Oh, am I gonna make it? I guess in this little thing I'm in, it's protect. I'm protected. I guess let's go down here and see what happens. Oh no! Okay, let's 
looks like it creates a very limited amount of time for you to get across some of these objectives. These landscapes. Oh, goodness. Ugh. And you may have to position yourself well so that you don't get knocked off. the wind chimes playing the music, or is it just music to be played for music's sake? I feel like I'm missing a um, star, so I'm looking for that. Yep, here it is. That's what I need. so intense that like the sound and just the, the feeling of it taking over the, the actual keyboard controls oh here it comes gotta get far enough I guess if you're under one of these little plateaus or whatever, you're safe. Oh no, it's gonna hit again here any second. I'm out in the open. Yep. Oh, lucky me. Oh my god, what is this? This is crazy. What is this? I'm in some kind of giant rock creature. I don't know what I accomplished right there. crazy. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm going to get hit by the wind here any second. I guess I don't have a choice but to jump. Ooh. Hmm. So I see that right there, but I don't no other way to get to it. Oh. Can I potentially just jump on it until it lets me? Hmm. Maybe I had to have like a more running jump start to it? I don't know. I feel like it, it needs a more substantial caliber of drop. Or something, I don't know. I don't really know what I don't know. So I found a weird thing. So this is a cutscene. I can't move. Okay, now it, now it's doing something. Oh my god, what is that? Hold K. Okay. So let's go back. Now that we have that ability, we can hit that checkpoint. That's the first tutorial element we've seen so far, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. I mean, we're like probably 30 minutes-ish into this game, and we just saw our first tutorial element. And... 
I'm not seeing wind, the, the crazy wind anymore. Did I solve that? Nice. Well, um, I feel like that was significant progress. Oh, I didn't fix the wind. It's back. <laughs> um, so I guess my thoughts... Oh god, it's so loud. Um, I guess my thoughts are this game so far seems really amazing. And it really allows you, the player, to feel um, this surge of exploration and, and depth to the game. I think it's great so far. I'm really curious to see where it goes. I mean, I found the color red, and I don't, I don't know if that's where it's going to be leading. Just like you're finding all these different colors, or, or what? I mean, it's got this very um, interesting tie to music, and it, it doesn't hold your hand through any of it. It really lets you kind of figure the game out for yourself. Um, I don't know. So far, I think this game's amazing. I haven't played a game like this in a while, and I feel like it really immerses you because you're curious, and you don't really know what you don't know, so you're just hoping you figure it out along the way. I also feel like they don't really... There's nothing yet that's punished me, right? There's no bad guys. There's no uh, death. There's there's nothing that um is really negative in the game, so it's like it's this exploration, this... I don't know. It, it's a very different type of game for a very different type of player so hopefully you enjoyed this episode and hopefully you'll be back for the next one so thank you for watching if you like this episode hopefully i'll have more episodes on the page visible for you to see if you want to go and explore some more of my content if if you enjoy my videos hopefully you'll subscribe and like and i will see you in the next one